look at Notre Dame's physicality on offense, how big a box is that for you guys to check on Saturday? Well, a very difficult one. And, and, and you know, they, they do a good job of, uh, you know, make it very uh, challenging defensively to, to kind of earmark, okay, you know, whether it's, you know, the, where the ball is being directed in the run game, you know, the gaps are responsibility. They, they change with shifts and motions and a lot of surfaces, you know, four-man surface, you know, four guys next to the center. And so it really makes it very difficult to, you know, add numbers everywhere you need it. Um, and, and so, and then, you know, obviously got the, 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 the best tight end in the country to, to direct the ball to as well and some good skill around them. So, um, no, major challenge. Um, and they, they've uh, kind of, I think, found a, uh, a rhythm in the last few weeks. So it, it's... Uh, um, I, maybe the timing for us isn't ideal um, because uh, certainly there's been a, a level of production that's kind of taken off uh, most recently. With Michael Mayer, what adjustments do you make from the Utah game and Kincaid? Yeah, so. tackle him. You know when he's got the ball. I mean, that, and that's 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 you can come up with a lot of uh, ingredients, and you can put two guys. You know, you get two guys on him. You know, one of the two. If not both of them, we have to get him on the ground. Now he obviously gets a vote, and, and he's elite at, at finding ways to, uh, you know, similar to, to issues we've had in the past. Is you know they, they, they have a tendency not just just to fall uh, on first contact, and so you know we try to convince the guys it's not open field tackles. You're not by yourself. Sometimes you are by yourself, and you got to find a way to get a body part, to, and sometimes just hang on for dear life. But no, you got to have an, obviously an understanding of, of where he's at. You know, when a, a high-level run game and the physicality, as you mentioned, it's very difficult to say, okay, let's put two on him and still have extras in the run game. So um, that, that's uh, again, that's that's defensive football. It, it's a, it's a different way to attack defense than, than you know most weeks, but uh, uh, obviously highly effective. And when you see uh, on Sundays quite a bit uh, as you watch NFL. How, if at all, might it you know, help you guys to see a strong UCLA running game last week? And, and then this week? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, again, it's a different way to, to go about it. Um, but in, in the end, it's still adding gaps, you know, uh, really putting, the, uh, putting in a, a difficult situation from what we call eye control. Um, you know, it, it could be built with motion. You know, it's, at times it's a, uh, what, what seems like a, a blocker, you know, capping an edge that turns into a route. Um, you know, sometimes in a guy that begins to block and then runs a route. And so, you know, kind of all those indicators that you look for, again, similar, uh, maybe a different set, uh, more, more in a, uh, again, extra tight ends in the game as opposed to wide receivers. But again, the same issues, eye control. Uh, and, and then, you know, we say defend the run as pass first defenders on the back, uh, you know, I guess back five as you look at the secondary. Um, but God dang, we need you in the run game too. So, um, no, it, you know, ho hopefully you build week 12, um, you know, you take uh, examples over the course of time and, 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 and some of those headaches that we've had. Uh, and we, we gotta, we got to learn from them and, and uh, you know, find a way to, to have some success. It's coming up on all year since you and Lincoln arrived. Yeah. What do you recall from that first week when you were just watching practice and your first impressions of what you were taking over? Yeah, I mean, it, it's gone fast. I mean, it, it, uh, in, in so many ways, it, 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 uh, it, it's hard to, uh, you know, look back on, on who those, those guys were. I mean, I like to think they're different guys. I hope they, you know, uh, from a development standpoint, you know, certainly moving the needle in the right direction, uh, physically, mentally, and all those things. And regardless of weird, they're, they're, they're part of that is just, you know, a year older and a, a year sharper. But, uh, um, no, I, I think uh, it's gone fast. You know, that, that's how, how football is now. You know, you, you, you're, on a one -year, you're on a one year plan. It's always one year cycles now. Um, and, and so uh, th this, this is year one. And then, you know, very quickly here uh, after the new year, you got to look at through the lens of it's year one again. It's just the way, the, you know, I, I've, I've, um, I've really cautioned myself, well, it's just year one, you know, you, you build in time. And that, those, are, those are conversations for years past. I mean, th those are, that's, that's the, the kind of the old uh, way of approaching things and saying, no, you got to build year in and year out. And obviously, there's a staple of guys that uh, will be around to, to be part of it as you establish culture. But, um, no, it, it college football now is it's year one, year one, year one, and you got. I think you got to look at it through that lens. So in that case, has it happened faster than you thought? Because you're ten and one in the Pac-12 yeah. game in the national championship conversation. Sure, and and, and I, I think you know you, you look at it through the lens from a defensive standpoint. As you say, there's there's it's a duality to it. There's some good, there's some bad, and, and the frustrations are real. And we don't we don't sugarcoat it. And there's not a lot of days that we sit around here and say, look look how great we're doing, because you know Saturday film suggests we're not. And so we understand what the expectation is um, but but until you get there it, it's it's you know pipe dream and we're not there yet and we know that um, and so that's that's the challenge that's uh, in, ahead of us um, you know big picture stuff you, you start going through the roster and say which guys on your roster are having their best year of college football um, and this is me being 
two positives, which I struggle with sometimes, but um, that's a long list. Now, collectively, are we getting what we need to get out of a group? No, and that's my job, and that's uh, my issue. Um, so I got to get it out of them, and we got to play more consistent. Um, and, and so the frustrations are all the same, just as real. But you mentioned the year's time, you're saying that there's a lot of guys playing their best ball. Um, now we got to make their level of best ball that much better. Kind of to the point about the defense, Lincoln has talked about not maybe paying, not paying attention to the rankings at all until the end of the year. You know, it's part of college football, but last night, you know, the committee chair said, you know, he, the committee wanted to see more out of the USC defense. Is that something that, you know, mo do you find motivating, or how do you kind of take that, that criticism in any way? Well, no, and I didn't see it. I mean, I, I, from a criticism standpoint, it's, it's, you know, Saturdays are, that's your resume. From a coaching standpoint, from a player standpoint, there's no dodging it. Um, we're, we're very honest in that. Um, and, and, and understand that the chief goal each week is to you know, find a way to beat the opponent by one. Now, after that is to play at a high, high level defensively. And then if they score one, you've got to have some level of frustration about you. Um, so, um, no, for a, a, a added motivation, you know, certainly not. But from, just from the standpoint, you're in the business of win games. We, we found a way to win 10. We're going to fight like all hell to get 11. Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to do so. We understand that. And we, we also understand there's it's very real in terms of uh, the response we have on our side of the ball, uh, not, not simply to, to um, be, be the group that uh, um, just, just hangs on. You know? So we, we got to play at a much higher level. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you all.